All right, guys, today we're looking over at this JV6 swap that a customer is having me do for their NA Miata. We diagnosed their motor as having a knock, had some metal flakes in it, in the oil, so we convinced him to do a JV swap and he went for it. So thus far, all I've been doing is taking apart stuff. I took inventory on all the parts that were supplied by Minitech. It's a Minitech's the company. And the motor we have here is out of a 2002 Acura CL Type S. As some of you may recognize, this valve cover, uh, this wire cover. So on the motor, I'm taking care of doing a timing belt, water pump, cam seals, crank seal, valve covers. I've already swapped the valve covers. As per the instructions, you're supposed to put this one over here. And I found that there's a little bit of interference here, so we're going to have to take a look at that and see what we need to do because the cover no longer fits here as there is a, there's some plastic here. Then on the back side, I've just disassembled all of the components that were back here. Gonna have to take this off for their adapter piece. Um, I took out the injectors. I've cleaned out all the gunk that was in here. Cleaned out the EGR port. Let's see, I didn't do anything here other than clean the surface. Hop over here, we have the intake manifold. Uh, according to their pictures, the instructions aren't really uh, thorough to say the least, but it looks like we're gonna have to eliminate the changeover, the butterflies, and we're supposed to cut this off and weld on a plate that was supplied, this little guy. And then we replace one of the sides of the intake manifold with this piece so it'll stick off of the side. Uh, this is actually towards the front of the Miata. This will be towards the rear of the Miata. So the firewall doesn't allow us obviously to have a throttle body back here. Uh, these are the side tanks. They were full of oil, so I cleaned them up. Um, cleaned off this surface, cleaned off this surface. And let's see. So over here, these are all the parts supplied by Minitech. Well, most of them. Customer still has to drop off some of the other ones whenever we take the vehicle in. So we have the intake manifold adapter, um, the weld-on piece, oil pickup tube, the uh, thermostat housing that goes in the back side of the motor. I believe this is the power steering adapter. Oil filter, obviously. Throwout bearing with the um, sleeved adapter. So uh, this actually says that we're supposed to press it in, but ta-da. Bag of bolts, the flywheel and clutch assembly, the adapter with bolts, of course. We have a an ECU and a wiring harness that is also from Minitech, along with the uh, the flying lead to connect into Miata stuff. The throttle body I pulled off of that motor. An AC adapter bracket, and then they provide this manifold, and we have an alternator from Honda, as well as a bunch of OEM parts. The rest of the OEM parts have already been installed on the motor. Uh, this manifold is actually from what will be the what will be the driver side. They say you need to put it over on the passenger side. And then they supplied us another one of these that we're supposed to put on the um, on the driver's side. So as soon as I get new exhaust gaskets, these will be put on. And then down here we have their oil pan. So my next step is going to be oil pan. And over here I can just have my box full of stuff that's been taken off. And that's our starting point. All right, so today's progress, we figured out a whole bunch of parts we were missing. So these are all the parts. Needed a couple of exhaust studs, nuts, crank bolt, uh, you know, the one-time use. Exhaust nuts, gaskets. So the power steering pump, we ended up getting a non-OEM due to the exorbitant price of OEM. I already put the adapter block on there that attaches to this line, which we'll figure out once we get it in the car. Did not come with a pulley, so that's one of the things we needed. Don't have the hardware for it, because that's the other thing we're gonna need there. Uh, We'll the alternator out of the box, and then we have to get the bolts for that. And then let's see, what else are we missing? We are missing, we need, we're replacing the thermostat and the gasket on the back side, as well as the coolant sensors, because one of the, uh, I think both of them were damaged. So yeah, this guy's damaged, and then the other guy comes off of the thermostat assembly. So we're getting new ones of those. Um, I sent off an email to Minitech to ask them what the heck we're doing about the fuel system because the NA6 this is going into has a fuel return system. So I need to figure out what we're doing about this guy. I believe that there are kits that I can get to adapt this into a return system and then we can integrate that, but I want to see what they're doing. Um, 
so one of our neighbors here has an injector cleaner machine so we sent him down there he flow tested them after cleaning them and they came off as two of them flowing at like i think he said 70 70 70 liters per now 70 something and then the other unit was um like 50. so uh next we have the intake manifold i shot off a question to the mini mini tech company also asking them about this because with the plate i need to know how far back we're supposed to cut this and according to all of the pictures i can find no one is using this so i need to know are we eliminating this component or not information for future and then we're getting a set of injector seals and a throttle body gasket so oil pan looks really nice i have the um, ac compressor bracket on here let's see went ahead and cut this guy so now it fits i should be able to get a tube on there if need be i can always cut a little bit more off of there and put the oil filter on there. Ta-da!